So we're going to start our snow blower impeller kit. This is the metal that I've used before to strap off of a chair, an old chair. It supported the cushion. It was uh, one of those leather recliners in Ottoman. And I cut them off and saved them. So it's one inch wide, it's one millimeter thick. It's going to go on the back side to, uh, with holes drilled here. One an inch and a quarter, one a two and a half to support the rubber. The rubber will be in between. The rubber will be here. And the metal plate will be on the back side of it. Hold it. We're going to have one bolt here around the corner. So I'm going to extend the rubber around just a little bit. Just kind of make that little cup to catch the snow. And uh, we're going to be drilling holes, as I said. And I'll be cutting off these quarter inch bolts here. Cut the heads off, and they'll be stuck in quarter inch holes and welded on the back side as studs. Then we'll be putting lock nuts, lock nuts on them to hold it. As I said, there'll be one bolt here, and we'll be the head will be showing. That's just a simple reason that it's going to be hard if we ever change the rubber to take that piece of backing that backing plate off. It's just not going to fit over four studs when one's coming out at an angle this way. So we'll have one. You could use a carriage bolt, I suppose, but this won't restrict much snow. This will be smooth. Rubber's going to be installed on the back side. Let's get at it. So our first hole. See, this is our packing plate is going to be one inch. So we're going to mark our first hole one half inch one half inch in. Right here. Yeah. So here's a good way to uh, I marked in there that half inch. You just put it on your mark at half inch. Hold your finger. Carpenters know this trick. And then you just run a line straight down. And come around this way. Here. And then we'll put a mark here, roughly. It's going to be in the back side, but we still need to get at it, so probably have to be out a little bit more. Right there. And then we're going to come out inch and a quarter, and then go to two and a half, and then one around the corner. Alright, so I have my uh, marks where I'm going to drill. I put some vice grips on. It's just temporary. These ones are anyway, because you can see they're over my marker I'm going to drill. And I have my metal. The rubber has to be trimmed yet, but I have my metal on the back, whereabouts I want it. So now what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to bend this metal around. So we're going to have the shape we want. Roughly. Another pair of ice clips wouldn't hurt. Pair of hair. There. Take these ones off. Maybe move them up here, maybe. Right there. Now, you can drill those holes. I'll recheck to make sure my metal strap is in the exact right spot on the back and make sure we have enough rubber out too. So we're going to need 3 eighths. We can always trim it, you know. A good quarter to 3 eighths. I know we need at least a, no less than a quarter. So, there we have roughly a good 3 eighths. Can always trim it later with a good sharp exactor knife. So we have three eighths. I'm gonna drill those holes now. Good sharp quarter inch drill bit.